going in order of people who had appeared. Senator Thune, if he's available. If not, Senator Blackburn. Thank you, Madam Chairman. And um, Dr. Prabhakar, thank you for the time yesterday to visit over the phone. I want to start right where Senator Klobuchar left off, and that is with the workforce. And I'd love to hear from you how OSTP can be more engaged. Senator Rosen and I have a bipartisan bill that deals with advanced manufacturing. We have the Nashville Tech Council that is setting up talent programs and tech talent programs so that job seekers can gain the skills that they need to work with companies that are coming into the Nashville area, Amazon, Oracle, uh, that is relocating to Nashville. So what role can OSTP play in ensuring that we're focusing on training that skilled workforce that needs to be in place? And then how can you work with the governors and the states to make sure that they are going to be able to take advantage of and coordinate those efforts? Senator Blackburn, thank you for that question. I enjoyed our visit yesterday. And I really appreciate your leadership on this issue because I think we all know that there are companies that need skilled workers and there are people who would love to have a chance at these stable, well-paying jobs. And bridging that gap is uh, such a huge opportunity. Over many decades, we've seen state-level efforts that have made strides in that direction. And I think what you're talking about is a terrific example and one I would love to learn more about if I'm confirmed and uh, to help with. The question in my mind is, we have seen many specific examples of these kinds of training programs. Often, we're bringing together community colleges and linking them to workers who are displaced or looking for new opportunities, and then linking them to the companies. We know this can work. And the question I want to get after is, how do we scale it? How do we make it happen at, at, at a level that allows many, many, many millions of workers to achieve these opportunities? So if I'm confirmed, I would absolutely love to work with you on that. Well, thank you for that. Uh, we also chatted a little bit about National Labs yesterday. And as you know, Oak Ridge is very important to us in Tennessee for the work that they are doing, um, the isotope science, the engineering, uh, fusion, fusion technology, and fusion energy, and supercomputing. And Oak Ridge is home to Frontier, which is the world's fastest supercomputer and the first exascale computer. So under your leadership, how will OSTP work with the national labs like Oak Ridge to make sure that the U.S. remains a world leader on these type of technologies? Senator, thank you. That's, uh, I think that's an important area. Our national labs are a big part of the U.S. innovation system. It was my privilege to lead one when I was director at NIST. And my experience with the DOE labs goes all the way back to when I was an undergraduate and, and had the chance to work at and visit some of those facilities. Um, you know, I, the way I think about how this country achieves huge progress on any area of technology or advances in our industrial capacity or our national security is that it takes all of these different pieces coming together. We need our universities. We absolutely need our national lab system. We need companies, and we need the government agencies that pay, play various roles to play their parts. And a lot of the reason I'm excited about the opportunity to lead OSTP is because that is a place from which we see the entire chessboard. And so I would like very much, if I'm confirmed in this position, to be able to work with the national labs on some of their unique capabilities, but in particular to work with them on how to link them better to the rest of the ecosystem, in particular, often to the commercialization that takes some of those innovations, for example, fusion, and, and moves it out into the world so that, as a society, we can really gain the full benefits of their work. Well, and I appreciate that. And I would add to that list that you just went through um, deliverables that would focus on near-term capabilities in areas like quantum, as well as a track 
that some of these near-term deliverables would lead us to some long-term successes and discoveries. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, we look forward to visiting with you after confirmation. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Fisher.